so this is a camper my wife ended up getting over the winter and uh because she really wanted something that she was uh small enough for her to pull to go camping with her the kids and the cats because i'm not going as much as she likes to go so we end up selling our really big camper and she ended up getting this little one here and uh but the thing of it is in the winter time you're not as thorough as you would be in the summertime and the floor was uh, a bit soft on here this is a 23 footer it's by jaco it's called the kiwi and uh, so what i want to do is walk you guys through the process of what i did to resolve the uh soft spots on the floor of course you know you mitigate the uh you go and find where the leaks were at first and take care of those which i did so now is to take care of the soft spots on the floor and this is the process hey guys welcome back to uh part two of the uh soft floor repair uh in the last video you guys would have saw where i repaired the big hole that was here and so now where i'm at now is to put down a continuous sheet of um plywood on top of everything because the top layer on some of the in some spots up in here deteriorated although the foam underneath is fine the layer of wood at the bottom is fine so i just want to have a continuous sheet going across here to basically uh replicate that uh continuous sheet that was originally there before it started breaking down from the le from leaks that was in here so what i did took some sheets of cardboard and just trimming out a template all around through here and back to this way as well and i'm going to use that to take it out and lay it out on some four by eight sheets of plywood and then cut it and bring it in here now there will be some challenges along the way because it sounds it's too too easy uh but in tight spots like this you have these handles sticking out you have the doors with the lips so in order to be able to do to um to accommodate that i'm probably most likely going to have to remove these doors to be able to slide the plywood in so i'm getting ready to go uh get the plywood out put it on some horses and uh get ready to cut all right, so I'm going through and I removed all the doors that I think I would need to remove. Along here, along here as well, one back there. I didn't remove these because I'm assuming I'm gonna lay that part down, corner down first and then drop it down this way. So that door, I'll see what, what I'm gonna do about this part over here. And then back here, I couldn't get this drawer out. It's on a track system underneath. So I'll work, I'll figure that out as I work through it. All right, so now I have the template on top of the wood. I'm going through with my black marker from find a pencil and uh, threw out the template. So now I'm getting ready to cut it out. Of course, it was wider than the uh, four feet sheets. So I'll have to make do. All right, so right now I'm putting down some adhesive and I'm putting it all down to be able to, uh, first and then I'm gonna put my pre-cut sheet of plywood right over top of it and move on to the rest of it. All right, so I have them glued down and I put screws in them as well. And as you can see, I'm putting a, <laughs> I'm using my wife's uh, gardening soil and also some uh, paving stones or some edging stones to add some additional weight throughout here to hold it down to let the uh, adhesive set. I have to make a, one more run. I don't know what I was thinking, but I need to get one more sheet of uh, plywood and I'll be able to fill in these sections here and then be done and be ready to put the carpet down. All right, so now I cut the remaining pieces. So you can see that. So now I just have to glue them down and throw some screws in them and transfer the weight from the ones I had uh, done yesterday over to here to allow the uh, glue to dry. And then once that's all done, then it'll be time to put some uh, carpet in. All right, so the flooring over here probably had a what? couple of days to put the glue to dry 
uh, with the weight on it. And then this, this piece over here, this thin piece here and that piece there, I ordered on day two. So that had over 24 hours to dry as well with me also having the weight on, on top of, the, of it as well. Now I end up going with uh, 11 30 seconds of thickness of uh, plywood opposed to the quarter inch, which would have been, what is that, 8 30 seconds, so a bit thicker. I just like the uh, rigidity, rigidness of the uh, 11 30 seconds over the uh, quarter inch. Now the downside of that would be you have this drawer over here, which I believe can still slide out at this point. It could, I think, with a little maneuvering, but either which way, once I put the carpet in, it's definitely not going to be able to slide out. What I probably will see if I can do is trim off a bit of the bottom of this drawer so it'll be able to um, go over the plywood and the carpet and still be able to slide out and be a useful space. Uh, one other thing I want to do too is I want to get some long bolts and with some really wide washers. And because over here, I don't want to risk the uh, adhesive ever giving out. Um, and so I, what I want to do, I want to run some through maybe here, 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 and here. Uh, maybe even a couple here too as well, just to keep everything nice and flat to the, to the ground and run them all the way to the bottom and also have that big wide washer um, or a plate of some type to like sandwich in between the two. Cause remember this underneath here is just thin uh, wood already been subjected to the elements over years. So running screws into them doesn't give you the best bonded holding power. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a point of failure. So to what I want to do on that in this existing area of the floor that I didn't touch is do what I just talked about to give it some extra strength. Uh, but for now, what I'm going to be doing is now starting to lay the carpet down uh, and uh, uh, I don't blow it down. I'm just going to staple it to the outside edges so it can always be pulled out and new carpet thrown in at any time. Or if someone decided they want to go with vinyl, it's up to them. Um, over here in this area, you won't really see screws being um, driven in because as you can see right there, there's the water tank, right? Last thing I want to do is risk uh, puncturing the water tank. So I didn't run screws over here. It's strictly glue over in this area. Over in this area, beneath here will be the, uh, the, uh, the tank for the toilet. So <laughs> definitely don't want to puncture that. So just like over there, no screws over here as well. So right now, I'm going to get ready to do is lace down some carpet. All right, so the carpet now is loosely thrown down. I haven't uh, fitted all the areas and started stapling yet, but I'm getting all the sections in. And I'm not going to staple this section down until I address the door, door drawer situation and put down those uh those, those bolts with the uh, large uh, spacers or or plates um, in the in those areas too as well. All right, so that one part where I wanted to uh, secure it down because I couldn't put any, really put any screws in that area. I just put glue and I didn't want to risk the later that glue giving out and that parts uh, lifting up. So I went to the hardware store and I picked up some of these little thin plates. I think I paid 79 cents a piece for each one of them. And I picked up, I don't know, about 12 of them, I think. Six for the top, six for the bottom. Picked up some lag bolts. I'm going to run it through this lay on top. I'll run a, um, not a lag bolt, but I'll run a bolt through through the top all the way along the bottom of the camper. And I'll put the one along the bottom and I'll put a lock rusher in the nut and then I'll just draw it together. And so I got wide plates that way it can dispute, um, disperse the, uh, the, the, the pressure area around so it's not concentrated just at the point of a, of a of a little washer so that's what i'm getting ready to do now oh and by the way in case you're wondering i use one of these to uh drill it out just a step up drill bit much easier than a drill bit because uh it just takes a bit longer all right so this is the area i was talking about so about i'm going to put 
one here, here in the corners. Now past here, it's just a continuous piece underneath going back, so I feel good about that part. Uh, but over in here, I just want to make sure there's no chance of having any um, any filling that the that is soft over here or that it may lift up at the same time. So I'm going to drill into these spots over here. I'm going to use my wood screw, uh, go through it. Now remember, we have two inches of the original flooring to go through, and I would say just under a half inch over here. All right. Um, so there should be more than enough here. And I have my my bolts. I went with these rounded top ones, um, these carrier bolts type rounded tops. That way you, you know, from stepping on it won't feel so bad. Um, and lock washers for underneath. And also some screws. I was gonna go with, uh, I wanted to use uh, lock washers, but given that I don't have um, see a, a, a hex bolt or something to put a wrench onto up top. Um, I didn't want to risk not being able to tighten it down completely. All right, so here is my view from underneath. You see, I put one of the plates in, lock washer, nut. There's the bolt coming through. So I have one here, one here. See one, two, and three more to go. I may have to help my wife try to press down on this one down here to get it through a bit further but others will be a little bit more accessible like that one all right they're all done at the bottom they're all secured at the top as you can see it drew it in so it's just a little rounded little section with the carpet on here it'll be hardly noticeable plus you definitely know that's not going to go any place. It's not going to lift up at the glue these size. Because the wood underneath is mo really just, what do you want to call it? Almost like layers of wood. You know, it's a, it's a plywood. So as it ages, you know, these layers can just come right off. And so it's only glued to that layer, not really to that entire piece of plywood underneath. So it's better to go ahead and add these to make sure that we're won't have any movement at all. All right, so what I am using are the narrow crown staples, 18 gauge. Uh, these are the one and a quarter inch length. That's what I'll be using to uh, staple in the carpet. All right, so that's it. You guys got to see me uh, repair this floor. Uh, hopefully this helped out. Uh, any of you guys who have a soft floor spot on your in your camper, uh, it feels really good. I think it looks pretty good as well. I think it gives the uh, camper some additional lifespan. So if you like, go ahead and hit the like button and definitely hit the subscribe button because I have a few other YouTubes out there, YouTube videos working on my camper, and I'm going to be adding some more. Thanks for joining, everyone. Bye-bye.